Hey everyone, Greg here, and it's Sunday. I'm auditing my own website. I noticed something that I should be doing better, so I'm going to share what I'm going to do right now with you guys. So I'm going to use Screaming Frog. I'm going to crawl my entire site, and effectively, if you've ever used this tool before, it's a great uh, tool. It's actually very inexpensive. Um, it's going to give you all this crawl data uh, for your website. So I'm going to pause the video right now, and I'm going to get back to it once it's done crawling. All right, so now that the crawl is done, I'm going to go to Response Codes, and I'm going to look for uh, 301 redirects. 301 redirects are things that basically move to a different place. Some I did on my own. And when I was looking through my site, I went, I got rid of, or I 301 redirected my local SEO pages because I don't want to do local SEO anymore. So I went to this page here, and if you go to the in links section, you'll see that I have some guides on my site along also with some blogs that are still linking out to my local SEO page with the anchor text local SEO service. SEO for local search. And the problem with this is that I don't offer local SEO anymore. So if people click on it, they're going to um, a different page on my site, which is not a good user experience. And it's also a waste of Google and Bing's crawl budget. And also, I'm not passing SEO link authority necessarily 100% to the final destination. So let me go to this SEO for accountants guide. So I'm going to go into my post right here, all post. Search for accountants. This actually might be under my page section, so let me just take a look at this. Yeah, it's under pages, okay. All pages, search for accountant. The SEO for accountants can go into the edit uh, section within WordPress. Now I'm going to get rid of the text and we'll go right to the visuals so you guys can see it as a WYSIWYG. So um, it's already right here. It's local SEO service. I'm just going to confirm that. So here it is, local SEO service, going to the local SEO page. It's not that good. So I'm going to say this right here. If you would like assistance with your business, I offer SEO coaching, discuss strategy with your set along with, and I'm going to say, get rid of this, change this to Boston SEO services. I'm going to change this just for my homepage. That's the term that uh, that ranks. Um, Boston SEO service ranks for my homepage. I'm going to hit update. And now another strategy you really should get um, used to is once you make these changes, you want to go back in and go to uh, Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster Tools because you want to now fetch uh, the change you just did. So I'm going to go back into um, Firefox, open up this URL. So it still, still says local SEO service, so actually what that means is that i got to go in and clear my cache. So let me just pause the video right now and I'll be right back. All right, so the cache is cleared. You can see it right here, Boston SEO Services. I hover over it. It's going to go to the home page. So um, what do you want to do here is you want to take this URL slash guide, go to Google Search Console, which is this right here. Put this right in. Fetch and render. And the reason why we're doing this step is that we want to tell Google to basically crawl this change. So come to the page, see this new link that goes to the home page, and basically just crawl it. Um, it's going to help speed up rankings. It's going to help speed up your SEO. So always get in the habit. Um, Google has a limit, I think, of about either 10 or 15 requests per day. Uh, Bing is about 10 as well. So um, you can't do it for all your pages, but do it for your whatever optimizations you're doing for that day. Uh, just make sure that you're doing that for those core pages. I'm going to pause the video one more time, and once it's done, I'm going to just render it and uh, fetch it as Google. All right, so now we're back. We're going to click on Partial, or for you, it might say Complete. And you want to check to make sure that Googlebot and users are going to see the same thing. So the left-hand side is going to be Googlebot. I can see that they can see the link right there, Boston SEO Service. I can see that uh, users can see it as well. I can go into Fetching right here if I really wanted to look at the code, just to make sure that the link's going into the right direction, which I already know it is. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go back up to the top. I'm going to click on Request Indexing. I'm not a robot. And I'm going to go to Crawl This URL and its direct links because I'm forcing Google now to follow those links, uh, especially that one now to the home page. So sometimes you get this error right here. You have to hit I'm not a robot. And 
Yeah, so sometimes Google Search Console is a little finicky, so um, you'll sometimes get that message. But anyway, that's really the strategy. So I know I only crawled that page. I want to try to crawl those exact links, but that's basically how you need to do that. So use Screaming Frog. Look for 301 redirects or 302, um, but especially 301 redirects. Change out the internal links to those pages, and then basically clear your cache, fetch it as Googlebot and also as Bing, and you're good to go. So thank you very much for watching.